Okay, we are going to do even and odd numbers, which is lesson 4-5. Even and odd numbers. Okay, an even number must be able to be split evenly between two groups. So if I have six, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Both groups each get three, therefore it's even. If I have 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, and five. They each get five, therefore 10 is an even number. Odd means I can't split it evenly between two groups. So let's say I have seven, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one had four, that one has three. It's kind of odd when one person has more than another. So that's what we call an odd number. Now, if you look, Two is able to be split, one, two, that's even. Four is being able to be split, two, three, four, that's even. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's even, they each get three. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even, they each get four. And 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Also even. So these are all even numbers. And that's when you're counting by even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. When I have one, only one person gets one, the other person doesn't. It's odd. Okay, now I have two. We've kind of added one, so now, now it's it's even. Three. Okay, I have my one, two that I had up here. I've added one more, so now we're off and it's odd, now we don't have enough for each. Add one more to three, and now you have two in each one, so that is even. Add one more to your even number, one, two, three, four, one more, now it's odd. Okay, six, we were odd at five, we had three and two, but we add one more to get to six, we added one more, and now it's even. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've added one more. Now we're odd. Add one more to seven right here. That makes you even. Nine. We were at eight. We had four and four. Now we're going to have our four and four again that we had at eight, but we have nine, so we have one more. Now it's odd. And then if we add one more to this, we have five and five, it's even. So it goes odd, even. Let me scoot that down. Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. The numbers that are even are basically two, four, six, eight, and zero or 10. When you're trying to decide if a number is odd or even, you have the number 26. We don't worry about what's in the tens place because 20 can be divided up evenly, okay? We only worry about this number. And we know that six, one, two, three, four, five, six, can be evenly split, therefore it is an even number. Okay.
when we are multiplying two numbers, well, first of all, I want you to pause the video and I want you to circle the even numbers that are up here. You are only worrying about the six, the five, the eight, the two, the seven, the nine, the one, the four, and the zero. You only worry about the digit that's in the ones place. All of these tens don't matter. We only look at the one that's in the ones place. So pause the video and do that. Okay, so you should have circled 26, 48, 52, 94, and 100. One is odd, nine is odd, seven is odd, and five is odd, but all the other ones are even. Okay, when we are multiplying, if even one of the factors is even, they can both be even or just one of them, we're talking about having groups of two or groups of four. And if I have five groups of two, let's say over here, five groups of two, if I'm talking about groups of two, it doesn't matter how many I have of, of those groups of two, my answer has to also be even because I'm talking about groups of two. So if I have two groups of two, well, I have a group of two and another group of two. So I can have a gazillion groups of two, but it's all going to be even because I have groups of two. And so it's fair because there's, there's one for each person in that. So if even one of my factors is even, my answer is even. If both of my factors are odd, which means one of them is not even, right? Because even if one of them is even, my answer is even. But if they're both odd, then my answer has to be odd. So is the product of seven and three even or odd? First, we have to figure out is seven odd? and is three odd. So pause the video and see if seven is odd and is three, if three is odd. Okay, so seven is definitely odd. It's gonna be four and three. And three is definitely odd. It's going to be two and one. So I have an odd times an odd, which must be an odd. Okay, so what we're asking here is in order to figure out if a number can is odd or even, you're also asking can I divide it evenly by two? Because look, you have two groups. If I take two and I divide it evenly, I'm dividing up my two into two groups, it works out and I end up having one in each group. If I take seven and I try to divide it by two groups, I can't. I end up getting four in one group and three in another group. Therefore, seven is not divisible by two. Okay, so that's that's kind of where they're going with that. So can seven, when they're saying, can it be divided by two, they're asking, is it even? So can seven be divided by two? No, it's not even. Is three even? No. So both factors are odd, therefore the product is odd. Okay, show that the product of six groups of three is even. Okay, first we have to look at is three even? I'm sorry, is six even and is three even? So pause the video and see. All you need is one of them to be even for the answer to be even. So the six is even. Okay. Six has three groups of two. Three groups of two. 